hi guys welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing i know you guys are doing very well so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys the culture shock i have in senegal things that shock me in senegal cultures of senegal that shocks me as a nigeria number one culture of senegal that shocks me is burial when they come to burial when when someone dies senegal buries that person they won't wait like unlike nigeria if you're most especially if you're coming from east nigeria south you know when somebody dies before we'll do the celebration we'll have to keep the person mortuary and prepare very well that one will be a very big occasion but here in senegal it's not like that when someone dies they bury the person highest the next day or today even that same day they can bury the person which is quite shocking and quite different from that of nigeria for me and which is quite if i should be talking about the benefits of it i come i kind of like it unlike nigeria you see someone who hasn't eaten who is managing to feed half three square of meat but when someone die you will see from nowhere they will even go and borrow money to make burial like the occasion you'll be surprised so this one i'll say this one is not it shocks me but i really like it somehow so the way nigeria is taking this uh, celebration of somebody that dies burial of a thing is too much in fact it's a great occasion in nigeria but here in senegal it's not like that so when someone dies the worst my number two culture that shocked me in senegal is is the way senegalese people like their dressing their african fabrics that is what shocks me like senegalese people can wear from month to month from year to year you see someone you you may see even young ladies they work with their fabric their african made their fabrics not all these uh, um, uh, foreign made so they love this their attire they can wear it freely they wear it go out go anywhere stay at home the way they tie it tie the wrapper they tie everything so senegalese people love the african fabrics the uh, material to so in nigeria you can also come and see a young girl especially the ones who have no money who come and be wear tying wrapper for you that they sew in the form of skirt and then be walking up and down you hardly see that you can only see nigerian young girls wearing those type of clothes when when they are going to church you know occasion traditional occasion all these things but senegalese people see this as nothing they are girls they are young youths they wear it like so it's when i came here it was kind of shocked to me it's even a point of what shocks me in senegal again God, is paka paka is the number three something that shocked me paka we all know paka as nigeria paka is is meant for packing waste bin, packing dirty to throw inside waste bin, right? But here in Senegal, you don't use that word, paka. Paka means another thing totally different. Even when I the day that I mentioned it, my husband, there is a day my paka because I'm living it up, people that is living down. So my paka fell down. Then I said, because I have some challenges with the speaking of the language actually. So I said to my husband, let me go down and go and tell the woman that is living in the place to allow me let me carry take my packet that i fell down in her own flat so my husband was like what will i tell her i said let me tell her i'll tell her packer that my packer fed her she said no why she not mention that that is very wrong packer means something different packer means let me be sincere here packer means mm, having sex with a, a woman like you'll be shocked packer means having sex like when we when we use nigeria english when we use the word fuck so that is what packer means in in, in senegal that is what they see paka as so this one shocked me well 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 even i i i mind the way i use this word paka like so my number four culture shock that shocks me in senegal is these people greet senegalese has different type of greeting even their young children will even say the way they greet like yeah they even they don't see greeting as they can come up to you they will not talk they will not open their mouth they will just bring their hand to shake you shake him that bringing hand you see a small child just anyone that feels like greeting will wake their hand to shake you 
if she shake you it's as great he or she has greeted and there is some they will hold you you hold them they will do you like this you they will give you your own their own back you do them like this as well so this is part of greeting there's different type of greeting even you will not even see a uh, opening their mouth generally they i know their greeting is salam aleikum which is peace be unto you but this different one shaking and another one that shocked me in this pattern of greeting is that senegalese people, uh, another one that shocked me is that senegalese people don't see uh, this the way we we refer our elder ones auntie sister brother the Senegalese people will say they live their life like Europeans or what or what will I say so they don't value they don't call like that auntie sister brother they don't do that kind of lifestyle what they live is calling you by name you see a small child you start calling the mother by name like I was surprised the day my neighbor's child started calling the mother by name our oh, wow. your son your two your, your two to three years boy is calling you your name say yes say wow cannot my child cannot try that with me so that is another thing that you say is normal it's nothing to them so that that one shocked me being an african country to me so people you can wear your army clothes by any type any fashion wear it here but in nigeria you dare not try to wear a mini trick wear if you wear it in nigeria the way your body will tell you in fact you roll for gota that day all the gota were there for a bar road you will run in it that very day Eh? but here in Senegal you can wear it even you can wear it if you like up and down put the cap put the socks put the ch chain everything about many three years you can wear it rock it and go your way the it as nothing another thing that shocks me in Senegal is the way cats moves like the population of cats in this country eh? I don't know if it's the same with that of human being cat it's not like that you hardly see cat talk more of where you're staying eating cats will still stay in the same house with you but here in Senegal they walk freely, they are populated for self. They even give them food, they eat, nurture them very well. Alenda is different from that of Nigeria. Why Senegal is celebrating their new year is not is three months far away from when we in Nigeria is celebrating New Year's. So this is is different. Their calendar is totally far ahead more than Nigeria. When they celebrate their calendar is quite is different. And here in Senegal, they don't build their house with things. Like even when I came, when I came here, firstly I was like, ah, what well, this house is? There's no roof, no roof, no roof. That's what I was busy looking everywhere. I was complaining. So they don't use zincs, like zinc, like unlike Nigeria. You when you somebody build, even there's different type of beautiful, amazing zincs that Senegal every two o'clock every day they will eat. And this food is this cheap. If I will not be mistaken, that their popular food, they eat it every day. Either they cook it another style or like every day, two o'clock. They don't miss it. Immediately they finish that their prayer, they will eat it and they will eat it together. Like you go to a public place, you meet people gathered with a bowl of food, eating it. Like you'll be wondering whether it's siblings that is eating this food. These are not siblings. These are people that just came from their various homes to to do their business but when it's true you see how they gather and be eating from that bowl together and that one i like it because this one is kind of unit unity brings unity and peace okay so you know if you as a mother bring up your children in a way that they'll eat together it's very hard for one or another one to stand against the other one so it's kind of unity and it shocks me the way they gather and eat it how they do and contribute the money or what that i don't know i'm yet to find out about it okay so this is it i hope you're enjoying this video if this video is what you like and what you're relating to to knowing the culture and the lifestyle of senegal be sure to give this video a thumbs up share like and subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already my name is mary queen in case you don't know the person you're watching my name is mary queen and you are welcome to mary queen longman space channel okay and the last but not the least i know i'm I, I, at a point i lost with my figure the number that i was calling but why i didn't this i'll put down the figures in the in the screen okay so that you know the last but not the least is that i was shocked seeing the way senegalese women accept their husband getting married to another man like and they will live happily in peace or more this one do me like this hmm? Hmm? like oh my goodness come to think of nigeria where i'm coming for you dare not try that
peacefully go to the village and stay for some while while the new one will be able to enjoy the as a new couple married couple the way they accept it or this one eh, it will shock me like yeah sometimes i'll be in one corner and be looking at some people eh, like this see i'll even lose my mouth uh, yeah. that one shocked me like eh? No, me you ask me you stand here if I can do that kind kind of culture. Though I know it's from kind of their lifestyle. So guys, this is it for today. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. To my returning subscribers, you guys are the main MVP of this channel. Eh? You guys know I've always from the bottom of my heart, I've always loved you guys so so much. No, 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 no. Look, I'm going to make you see me, Shemi. How did they do kissing, Shemi?